Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we've got this absolutely fantastic vase and we just wanted to do an arrangement with it. So we're gonna keep it quite simple in the sense that we're just gonna use Gerbera and Gypsophila as our main flowers and really just this vase. Because it's so striking with this petal design, you have to kind of let that be the dominant thing. So what we need to do is we need to know how we're gonna actually work this. So this is a very narrow vase and uh, it's a little bit difficult to actually put material in it. So what I wanna do is I want to attach a small container here that we can add some floral foam. So the first thing I'm gonna do is basically take this handle off because that's kind of going to get in the way. And then I've got a third of a block of floral foam, which I've soaked, and we're going to put that in. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of pot tape just to hold that foam in to our little tray. So that's giving us the start. And then I have some of this Oasis floral fix. So this is like a a green putty that you can warm up with your hands and use to affix anything to anything else. So it just stops things moving around. The only thing I would say is if you're gonna use this as the only source of fixing and the arrangement goes into a place that's very warm, like so maybe for event work or in a hotel or something where the, the ambient temperature is very warm, this will get softer and softer and uh, it may not, you know, if you were gonna put it on the side, it may start to slip. If it's on top, it's gonna to hold fine. So really the weight of that's gonna drag it. So you, you need to keep that in mind. But that doesn't mean to say that you couldn't put it on and then tape it as well. So always err on the side of caution and uh, you know overdo it. So really I'm making four bumps of the fix and then just putting our dish on. So that's pretty secure. If you're worried about this getting damaged, then I would put something inside it to give it a bit of weight. So that could be some old floral foam or even water would work quite well. Uh, now, what I'm thinking is we're going to make our arrangement using the jip. And what I want to do is really make a little bit of a mass of the jip off to one side. And jip seems to get a really hard time. What I find interesting with jip is you buy it in 25 stems and uh, really you need to start thinking about what am I gonna do with the 25 stems if you only needed one or two for something. Um, you end up being left with a big bucket of fluffy gypsophila and it's like, well, I need a purpose for that. So the trick is, let's create a design where the jip is really taking center stage or having a strong element within that. So I don't really wanna use any foliage in this design at all. I just want it to be floral. So what I'm doing is I'm going to bring this jip into here just to help hide the dish, uh, that, this little green dish. So we've created a little bit of an asymmetry in our design by taking the, the gypsophila off in a cascade. And now what I want to do is just have a little look at my gerbera. I've got a range of different colours, but I don't want necessarily all of them. Yeah, like I don't want all these together and all the pink together. I want to have quite a mixed look. And um, I'm also looking at the shapes. So what's a good shape? Yeah. So this is all about the face of the gerbera. So when I first started working with flowers, the lady I worked with said, every flower has a face. 
and you can see it. You can see that you know this one is heading off this way. If we change it, we can really change the way the flower looks at you and communicates with you. And that's good because then you can, once you understand that, then you can uh, start to use things to your advantage. So what I'm doing is I'm just staging these so that we're actually making sure that they're hiding this dish as well. And really don't want to hide this one. This one's fab. So like the way we've done that there, there's no filler, filler greenery or anything, but the way that your eye is going to look at that, you're not going to see anything anyway. And even... Even using this facing backwards is fine. So basically we've got round flower with a round vase, so that makes it very sympathetic and it works very well. So in some ways, using one type of flower is actually easier because you can really just work in a simple way. Um, when you're using lots of different flowers, you're, you're sometimes balancing different issues. Uh, with this, we can just really work with the weight of them and the way that they face. I'm going to put one quite far in actually, just a little bit deeper in. So I want this to feel kind of opulent and um, like we've really spoiled ourselves by having so many of the gerbera and yet in reality if you were buying them in bulk you would end up with 15 or 20 or 50 anyway. But the gerbera also have a feeling of luxury. They feel like fabric. They feel uh, just the perfect flower actually for going with this container. So I'm just going to check this. No. Yeah, I can add. I can just see through a little bit. So I've got a couple of little short ones that we can put in. So it's just a case of getting them in and overlapping them. Yeah, perfect. So what we've got is we've got quite a big bold vase. So we've gone with big bold flowers, but we've given that contrast by using the jip. So we've created something that's quite eye-catching and yet relatively simple in its sophistication. So I hope you've enjoyed today's design. And uh, if you want to give it a go, then please send us your pictures because we love to see what you've done taking an idea that maybe we've shown. So thank you for watching. If you'd like to keep up to date with all our videos, then click here to subscribe and we shall see you very soon.